Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter. It's been almost two years since Motorola spun off its mobile phone business. Earlier this year, Google bought Motorola Mobility for $12.5 billion. Motorola's legacy business, Motorola Solutions, is the equipment company that makes everything from walkie-talkies to scanning devices. The stock has jumped more than 40 percent since the breakup. I recently sat down with the company's chief executive, Greg Brown, and began by asking him about the stock price and what it says about the breakup, which was not universally praised at the time. Well, I think it uh, validates the industrial logic behind doing it. Um, so we're up markedly, as you said, in the two years. The other thing is Motorola Mobility, which got acquired by Google, sold for a 63 percent premium at the time. So if you look, if you go back to the low point of when Motorola was together and the value of the firm in 09, and you look at what Mobility was sold to Google for, 12.9 billion, and the value of our firm, 15 billion, we've tripled the value of Motorola. I do think it validates the logic behind the separation. Lisa, it unlocked um, a lot of value and it's allowed us to have the requisite focus to perform and execute, it's been great. Revenue from government has been stronger than corporate. You've talked about this big replacement cycle that you see coming. What do you expect in 2013? Well, I can't guide on 2013, but what I do think is that the underlying dimensions and drivers for growth in government and public safety remain. Uh, the age of the U.S. public safety infrastructure is pretty old. There's still a big conversion going on from analog to digital. Public safety is a need to have not a nice to have. Um, and then we have this new thing uh, called public safety broadband or public safety LTE, which we implemented, by the way, for the city of Chicago, for NATO, to provide interoperable broad broadband uh, for video distribution. So there's a lot of, I think, sustainable drivers for growth that will lend itself well going forward. And there's a lot of federal money, $7 billion, right, that's going to be available for those public safety upgrades. When do you see that becoming material to Motorola's business? So, great question. If you think about the $7 billion, which is to fund the broadband network, $2 billion is available now. The other five is not till 2015 and out. But, Lisa, even irrespective of that, the grant money uh, is usually customer funded some out of Homeland Security. Even without the seven billion, we think that our core business around public safety communications can continue to grow pretty handsomely. So we'll see. Well, we've talked about government. Now let's talk about corporate. What do you see as the economic outlook for next year? You talked about you were in Washington. Mm -hmm. You're a member of the Business Roundtable. What is everyone saying and, and what's your outlook? Well, so everybody's talking about the fiscal cliff. We had uh, President Obama talked to us two weeks ago. Uh, a few days after that, I went to the White House and spoke with Valerie. I think the messages are pretty uniform. We've had 168 CEOs sign the Business Roundtable letter that effectively says we need a deal. We need a $4 trillion plus deal over 10 years. It should be a balance of tax revenue and entitlement reform and spending cuts. Um, it should be bipartisan. Um, I'll speak for myself individually. I'm prepared to pay a higher individual marginal tax rate for the, quote, taxing the wealthy, as long as it's part of a comprehensive plan and we can move off a dime. The president spent an hour and a half with us, of which the conversation around fiscal cliff dominated. I walked away, and even though there's always, um, you know, political posturing and election or post-election rhetoric, I really believe that there's a sincerity um, on wanting to get a deal done. We have to get a deal done, and I believe we will. I think if not by the end of the year, shortly thereafter, that will then provide some stability, minimize uncertainty, and we can get back to what I expect to be a gradual recovery in the U.S. What were the other CEOs saying about hiring and investment and how critical is a deal on a fiscal cliff to getting the hiring and investment that the economy needs to have that gradual recovery? Every CEO said it's absolutely critical. Um, eliminate the uncertainty. Don't play political politics. Don't play a game of chicken. Because each week that goes on, we're, we're formulating our capital spending budgets now. We're finalizing them. We're finalizing the 2013 plan now. We had our last board meeting just a few weeks ago. So companies are making decisions on investment spend, targeted hiring, expansion. This is not the time. 
uh, to play chicken. And he heard that repeatedly from a variety of people. I think he knows that too, by the way. When you're making your decisions, are you counting on a deal? Yes. Or? Yes. I'm assuming there's a deal. Okay. Um, how about the Chicago economy, the Illinois economy? Last time you were here, a little over a year ago, we talked a lot about that. You said that in order for the state and the city to be a, a business environment that will bring corporate headquarters here, they had to get their budget, their fiscal mess in order. How have they done since we last spoke a year ago? City's doing better, state's not doing the job. Uh, I think Rom's been able to attract over 17,000 jobs from different companies, of which we're one of. And we're progressing, and by the way, we'll be moving in our phase one employees next month uh, on Michigan Avenue. Our North American sales head headquarters will be moving downtown. I think uh, the school contract uh, is done. Uh, the budget is done. Now, there's a lot of work to be done, but, but Rom is attacking it with vigor. Um, he's very, as you know, focused and relentless. The state is a laggard. Um, 50th out of 50th from a financial standpoint, pension hasn't been addressed. Um, the reckoning day is coming for the state of Illinois. It is. And I, I don't, I, I, it's incomprehensible to me um, and many other CEOs that the pension hasn't been addressed. So the day of reckoning is coming for the state of Illinois. When we also last spoke about a year ago, you talked about, and you just mentioned, the commitment to bring 400 jobs to Chicago. About half um, are coming downtown in the process, right? Mm -hmm. What about the other half? It'll, it'll complete in 13. So we're, um, we have some real estate space negotiated. We're very close to completing all the requisite space we need, very close. So I think that'll be ticked and tied uh, in 13. And just back to the company for a moment, where do you see then the biggest growth opportunities for the company in the coming year? For sure, it will be um, public safety LTE or the broadband opportunity. And I think that'll be several years uh, in the making. I also think this year has been a tough year for us on our enterprise business. I think that will rebound. It will go from negative growth uh, and should resume some level of positive growth. So between the resumption of enterprise and the opportunities in public safety, I think we're well positioned. Okay, great. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Lisa. Appreciate it.